Hey everyone, it's Marie here and I'm here with my son. Say hi! Um, we're going to be doing a cute little cro toddler craft today. Um, I just need, for this craft, we're making a little wreath. Um, so you want a paper plate and I cut out the center and it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be covering with this, with this, this with cotton balls. So um, yeah, you really don't have to worry about cutting this out perfectly. Um, you can see that mine's really not that great. And I even went ahead and just kind of like ripped it a little bit. So just go ahead and get the middle cut out. Now I have a bunch of cotton balls. Now you could use cotton balls, you can use um, pom-poms, you can use a whole bunch of different stuff. I have a ton of cotton balls on hand because I had it for a different project and I have a ton of them left. So <laughs> um, I'm going to use those today. So the first thing you want to do is take some glue. Okay, mister. Ready to do your craft? Yeah. Yep, we're going to take some glue and we're taking um, Aileen's clear tacky glue. And we want to squirt some all over here. You want to help me squirt the glue? Squeeze it. Okay, we've got some glue. Now we've got to stick pom-poms on it. Can you do that? Stick the pom-poms into the glue. You do it. Put them on. Good job. We're going to stick them on all over. Lots of pom-poms. Lots of cotton balls. Yeah. Can you put more on? we got to cover the whole thing, dude. Yeah, cotton balls. More glue. Ta-da! Ta Can you hold it up? All right. So now we have all the pom-poms and or cotton balls stuck down to our paper plate. So our next step, after I put these extra ones away, is we are going to color our wreath. Um, you can leave it white, but it's really fun to go ahead and color it. And we're going to do that with some Tattered Angels paint. So I'm sticking this wreath in a box. It's going to kind of help contain the spray. And then I'm going to take some, uh, this is Glimmer Mist. It's moss. Really pretty green color. And we're just going to spray our pom-poms or our cotton balls and make them green. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Say yes. Uh-huh. So we want to shake it up. So we get some glitter going. Take the top off. Come here, dude. There you go. Good job. Do you need some help pushing it down? Okay, let's spray. Oh, ooh, that looks nice. Let's spray. Wow, is that cool? Let's spray. Yeah, how about some more? Do it some more. Have a nice little layer of green and you don't have to worry if it's not completely covered or saturated just do as much as you feel like your kids want to do and don't be afraid to sort of mix different colors so I mean um, he's asking to do more spraying which is totally fine so I'm gonna be taking some of this um, chalk shimmer mist now this is actually Brutus Monroe Mist. It is formulated to coordinate with their inks, so it matches perfectly with Brutus Monroe's Cabbage Ink. Um, yeah, but it's made by Tattered Angels, so they kind of teamed up to bring these really fun um, chalk mists. Now this green is really bright, and it's a little bit more opaque than the uh, Glimmer Mist. Hey, 
You want to spray some more? No. So go ahead and layer some colors on. Just let the kids play. I um, mean, you don't have to like limit them to one color or anything. Just let them create. We need a little bit of green. You say green. Deep. Good. So you can see that this chalk mist is giving it a little bit of a darker, more um, opaque color. So I think that's pretty good. We're going to let that dry. So I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. And the next step, I thought it would be fun to, let's do this. Put this down and then let's get a few more cotton balls shall we and put them in here now I wanted to put some red like berries on our wreath so I'm just going to take some more cotton balls sprinkle them in our box and then we can take some red mist yeah. red and we can spray let's get this going here there we go there we go. We want to spray. We want to get some red berries. Now I just put that cloth down underneath red. Very good. Um, to kind of protect from the green. Um, otherwise my cotton balls are going to pick up some of that green and not just be red. So I'm going to kind of turn them a little bit. We'll get some more red. This is Glimmer Mist again and it's Lobster Glimmer Mist. Just a really nice bright red. Yes, in a box. And um, don't worry about your fingers. They wash off pretty well. It might be a little bit stained for a little bit. So if you don't mind that, don't worry about it. I'm sure your kids won't mind. So we're going to kind of let things dry. And then we're going to um, kind of start assembling things. So I'm going to clean up a little bit and then we'll be back. Alright, so we have our project back here again. It's not totally dry, but we're going to go ahead and just glue on hi. those little red berries. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. Can you wave? Hi. Okay. And so we're just going to take the same glue that we used to glue down our um, cotton balls to the paper plate. We're going to use that to glue down our little berries. You might notice that my son is a little bit more interested in playing with the items in my craft room than actually doing the craft. <laughs> but it's still a fun idea. And it's for a lot, you know, lots of ages. My this my toddler is two, almost two, not quite two. Um, and he enjoys doing the spraying part. Um, not so much the gluing and the sticking. He likes the paints, which is fine. Um, but you know you could do this with three four five six year olds and let them just uh let their imaginations go wild so i'm just kind of showing you a fun little project you can do if you're stuck inside in the winter time or the weather's not all that great today it's kind of cloudy and rainy outside so i thought it'd be fun to find something to do to kind of pass the time there we go all right, so I do have to say, now that I've done this project, um, if you are spraying cotton balls, it does uh, take a little bit, take a little while for the cotton balls to dry because they like to absorb that uh, paint. The cotton balls are just made to suck up moisture anyway. So you might want to give it a lot of time to dry, um, have the kids spray, and then come back later and finish. Um, right now this is still kind of wet just for the sake of making a video and keeping things moving. <laughs> um, I went ahead and did things while they were wet. So at this point I, I'll let it dry but I am planning on coming back later and maybe um, punching a hole in the top here and then tying on some of this cord so that you can hang it up. Um, you could also put different embellishments like I might put a bow down on bottom, put some leaves or ribbon or something, um, uh, bells, and just make it fun. You could even put a nice little saying in the middle. So this is a really fun um, 
easy project you can do with really inexpensive materials uh, for your kids or in your classroom or if uh, you're just looking for something fun to do. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this gave you some ideas and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.